ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் சிஎஸ்சி குருஸ் கம்மிங் டு த கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் எயிட்டி சிக்ஸ் வி ஆர் ரன்னிங் த ப்ரைம்ஸ் அல்கார்டம் ஃபார் த கிவன் கிராஃப் டு ஃபைண்ட் த மினிமம் ஸ்பேன் இன்ட்ரி ஸ்டார்டிங் எட் நோட் ஒன் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் ப்ரைம்ஸ் அல்கார்தம் விச் இஸ் யூஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் த மினிமம் காஸ்ட் ஸ்பேன் இன்ட்ரி ஃப்ரம் எ கிவன் கிராஃப் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் கிவன் இக்னோர் த டைரெக்ஷன் ஸோ ஹியர் த டைரெக்ஷன்ஸ் இஸ் கிவன் இன் கிராஃப் தட் ஷாஸ் டு பி இக்னோர்ட் ஸோ ஐ எம் இக்னோரிங் ஆல் திஸ் தட் மீன்ஸ் வாட் ஹியர் there is an edge 2 to 5 as well as 5 to 2 with the same cost 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 is 11 like this so 5 to 1 and 1 to 5 with 9 like this we have everything okay yeah prims algorithm first adds a node one it is asking to start from node one and to minimum spanning the, the total cost of the solution so what happens in prims algorithm it's like we need to start from a vertex and you have to check for all adjacents so adjacents of 1 is 1 to 2 is there 1 to 3 1 to 4 okay 1 to 5 all are there among all 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 among all we have to select which is a minimum so here which is a minimum i think 1 to 2 is 11 1 to 3 6 1 to 4 is 13 and 1 to 5 9 so the minimum is 1 to 3 which is 6 right so 6 and the path is 1 2 3 first and one more thing you have to visit all the vertices and such that no cycle should be there for prims algorithm so now from 3 you have to check it out now you cannot select random edge from 3 only what are the adjacents of 3 you can see 3 to 1 already visited we are not supposed to take 3 to 2 which is with the 2 3 to 4 which is with the 5 3 to 5 not there direct one so between these two the minimum is 3 to 2 so i'll go for 3 to 2 and 2 from 2 okay 2 to 1 is there already visited 2 to 3 visited 2 to 4 not visited right 2 to 4 and 2 to 5 2 to 4 is 3 2 to 5 is 8 which is the minimum 3 so the cost is 3 and finally from 4 to only 5 is there yes directly we have and you can connect and there is no cycle you have you can connect which is the 23 so the cost is 23 and you can add all, add all those things uh, 34 is my answer so like this if you go for prim solgarden so answer is 34 which is option b they are coming to question number 87 so now we are running kruskal algorithm for the given graph so the graph is given and again ignore the directions so the question here it is asking is what what is a third edge okay what is the procedure if you go for kruskal algorithm like in kruskal we can select an edge any edge which is with the minimum cost first so it's not going with the adjacency like we have done in prim algorithm so here you can select so that's why we have to maintain the edges according to the cost so first i'll write the minimum cost one is 2 next is 3 next is 5 next is 6 and like this i think next is 8 next one is 9 next 11 30 9 23 so first i'll take the edge with the cost 2 so what is that 3 to 2 is a edge with the cost i'll select first okay so first edge is 3 to 2 and next i have to select 3 the cost that is 2 to 4 so next is this 2 to 4 i can select so next i can select 5 but if you select 5 what happens there is a cycle 3 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 5 so this cannot be selected right so next one 6 so which is 1 2 3 now the third edge what is the third edge first second third edge is 1 comma 3 option c it's not 3 to 4 it is 1 comma 3 is it so we have to follow that rule of not getting a cycle in a tree result entry coming to question number 88 we are running disk store algorithm for the given graph for the finding the shortest path from source node 1 so disk store algorithm which finds the shortest path from one vertex to the every remaining vertex so anyway here it is given the source vertex is 1 have to find what is the shortest from 1 to 2 1 2 3 1 2 4 1 2 5 right 
so here we have to remember the directions like there is no path from 1 to 2 directly there is 2 to 1 okay so first adds a node 1 to the partial solutions you have to find what are the next two nodes every time how we can proceed we can see so first we have to state from 1 i'll write here what is 1 to 2 direct 1 to 3 1 to 4 1 to 5 direct path if not right infinity 1 to 2 no infinity 1 to 3 yes 6 1 to 4 13 1 2 to 5 no infinity there is 5 to 1 right so among this which is a minimum 6 that means the shortest path from 1 to 3 is 6 okay you cannot get less than this one so this part is over first vertex is first node is you got it as 3 and next one so from 3 we need to select now so from 3 you can select the edges what are the 3 to 2 we have which is for the remaining you select 3 to 2 which is 2 3 to 4 which is 5 right and anyway no other so 3 to 2 3 to 4 and anyway one already which is a source we cannot take so 3 to 5 which is not there so infinity right like so among these three which is i mean first we need to take this one path among we know that 1 2 3 1 2 3 right so which is the minimum first 2 5 infinity the minimum is 2 so the total cost is 6 plus 3 to 2 is 2 which is 8 so the cost from 1 to 2 is 8 so like this second node you got it as 2 so 3 comma 2 is our answer right second and third node next two nodes and of course you can continue for the remaining also so like 1 to 2 i'll write here 1 up to 2 which is 8 and remaining two required are uh, one is 2 to 4 other one is 2 to 5 2 to i mean 3 is already over so what is 2 to 4 is a direct no infinity 2 to 5 yes that is 8 so here 1 to 2 is 8 plus 8 which is 16 here infinity right 8 plus infinity infinity so infinity 16 next node you got is 5 which is 16 and finally you will get for 4 anyway 5 to 4 is there you have to check it out yes 23 so 23 plus 16 which is 39 so our answer actually the first two nodes it is asking 3 and 2 so our answer is option a so coming to question number 89 we are running virtual algorithm for the given graph to find a transitive closure just want to give the idea for virtual algorithm so which uses for transitive closure relations in a graph so the main difference if you go for floyd virtual and virtual algorithm is uh, like in floyd virtual you will take the weights for each edge but whereas in virtual algorithm you will take only whether there exist a path or not according to that you will take which is a boolean matrix okay i'll let you know like uh, if i write r power 0 okay r power 0 means which is initial adjacency matrix like 1 2 3 4 5 so anyway 1 2 1 0 self 1 2 2 if there exist standards you have to give it as 1 otherwise 0 okay 1 2 2 no right so 2 2 1 is there. so 1 2 3 yes 1 2 4 yes 1 2 5 no 221 yes 222 self 223 no 224 no 225 yes 320 321 no 322 yes 323 self 324 yes 325 no 421 421 no 422 yes 423 no 4 to 4 self 4 to 5 no 5 to 1 no 5 to 1 yes 5 to 2 no 5 to 3 no 5 to 4 yes 5 to 5 self right like this we have to consider initially now the formula for finding r power the transitive closure which can be given as r power k of i comma j so iterations you have to do where k is from how many vertices are there those many times you have to do actually so which is 
you have to find r power k minus 1 i comma j or or operation r power k minus 1 i comma k plus r power k minus 1 k comma j so that part you need to consider either there is this via k whether there is a path exist or direct path if anywhere you will get one the answer is one if both are zero means there is no path right so according to that we will find what is r power one that is what it is asking right so r power one one two three five anyway these self loops won't change and if you go for r power one first row first column won't change r power two second row second column won't change so that's why i'm writing as it is zero zero one one zero one zero zero one okay now what is r power one okay i'll write here r power one two comma three right so two power two comma one is over two comma two is over two comma three so which is r power one two comma three direct is there an edge no so okay zero or via one two two one one two three you check it out what is two two one one and one two three one one or one one so zero or one i mean which you can take a positive value so here you must have and right both so plus means and you may you must have that means both paths should be there then only i can say there is a path so one here zero here one and one so that must be there so here it is one so why because there is a path from two via one so two to three there is a path from via one next two to four you can see two to one one to four yes you have so that you can check it out two to four is there direct no but two to one is there one you can see one to four also so that's why this is also one now two to five two to one one to five is there no so that's why two to five there is no path here till now via one i'm just checking and then three you can see three to two via one anyway there is three to two already is there so directly keep it okay no need to check three to four you need to check it out three to four three to four what is the value one directly you can keep it three to five zero is there that's why i'll check it out three to one one to five three to one no so that's why definitely it won't be there so that's why zero as it is four to one is over four to two four to two via one anyway already it is there so directly keep it one no changes will happen four to three via one four to one is not there so that's why zero here four to five you can check it out what is four to five zero is there so i'll check it out with one four to one is not there that's why zero next five five to two what is five to two not an edge i'll check with one five to one is there one two two no so that's why zero five to one one two three i'll check it out next five to one is there one two three is there so five to three will be changed to one five to one one two four yes we have anyway five to four is also there five to five self so like this we need to check it out anyway we made one more zero here so zero here so like this we need to check it out for varshal algorithm anyway floyd floyd varshal or floyd algorithm if you take what happens same thing but here the formula will be changed to finding the minimum value we'll take the weights and finding the minimum of direct edge or via this k so this is r power 1 r power 2 means via the path 2 this has to be updated coming to question number 90 the contents of array it is given uh, becomes after one pass of horace partition is applied what it becomes like this is a array it is given now what is this horace partition it's simply given for a quick quick sort uh, for quick sort this is a one method used for to partition anyway in quick sort we will select a pivot element according that we will apply right so this horse method which it will take always the first element as a pivot element first element as a pivot element and it proceeds 
regarding the quick sort i explained about quick sort everything even you can watch in my video lectures also i explained about quick sort and horus partitioning means always it takes the first element as a pivot now if 6 is a pivot element okay after one pass what will be the array looks like okay see of course you can check it out according to the quick sort program like taking this pivot this value whether it is less than this one then continue otherwise stop and taking the last value this is this is i this is j so if this value is greater than this fine continue like this we have to do and whenever there is a constraint not satisfied then you have to swap a of i and a of j right so that part has to be done but here clearly check it out in the options if p is a pivot element check it out all the left of this pivot element are less than all the right are greater than this then no need to go for this if it is given as a multiple choice question check it out here well, here it is 6 all the left are less than no 7 is greater than this is not here you can see 6 less than yes all are greater than right side of 6 of course this is fine let me check it out one more is there then i have to find right so here 6 less than no 7 is there and here 6 less than all no so that's why i have only one option that's why i don't need to find directly i can say option b is the correct answer if i have more than one like this okay where satisfying left of 6 are less than right of 6 are then i'll check it out i'll go for the procedure of horus partition problem so our answer is option b thank you for watching this series of video lectures on data structures mcqs so hopefully in the in future i'll make more videos please comment in the comment section regarding this multiple choice questions and also you can watch this one all sorting techniques i applied in another video i'll give in the description so with a neat explanation and different complexity and analysis of these sorting techniques you can find those video as all sorting techniques with clear explanation and also this one same like 100 multiple choice questions which are very most important in c language i made it this also you can watch in my channel i'll give the link in description so if you want any sort of the questions anything you can please comment in the comment section so thank you thank you very much